Hey guys, just a quick talk about the upcoming meta changes in Hearthstone Standard. We talk about patch 23.4.3 and yeah, they are huge changes coming to us. Um, I think I like them, but they will change the meta a lot in my opinion, so let's see what's going on. Um, let us talk one by one about the cards. Lightning Bloom uh, is about wild. So you come directly to Mr. Smite. Seven mana now. Everything stays the same. Yeah, definitely a nerf. <clears throat> Not a hard nerf, but definitely a nerf. Um, it will come one round later. The decks that have him inside are definitely nerfed by this. Not in a hard way, he still does the same. But one turn later, besides you would use it with the coin. Um, yeah, also more hard to use him in combos. For example, Fifrog or something like this. So, um, But I think I'm, I'm, I'm fine with the nerf. I did... I, I know that... A lot of people hate Mr. Smite, so I guess it is okay that it get nerfed. It's not my personal opinion that it was necessary, but okay. Um, yeah, so okay. One mana more. Keeps the same card at the end of the day. Um, Kariel, one mana more. Eight mana now. Um, that's definitely a good nerf, in my opinion. I hate Kariel. Many people hate Kariel. And turn seven... Or with coin turn six was just too early to get have su such a crazy thing on board because think about it, it is kind of a board clear. It gives you that you take like 50% of the damage, not exactly 50%, but you know how it works. And it gives you all the time a, a, a weapon, a 2 5 weapon that is <laughs> yeah, not, not, not getting destroyed. So, yeah, very good change to 8 mana. Um, will be a nerf on 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 all paladins that use paladin decks that use it. Definitely, one hundred percent. One turn later, Cariel. That means maybe the paladin is already dead. Yeah, we come to the first change for warriors. Shield shatter deal only four damage to all minions instead of five. Um. There were many examples about possible changes to Shield Shatter in the internet. Um, that was definitely one of them. More people would have liked that you lose armor on how any armor it's reduced. Um, okay, now we have 4 damage instead of f f 5. Um, still kills the most minions. Not anymore. All, well, I, but I mean, how many minions you see nowadays with more than 5 HP? Um, uh, with more than, yeah, with 5 HP or more. Nearly killed all of them. 4 damage is still a lot. Um, but a good nerf, in my opinion. Karia uh, was, in my opinion, necessary because turn 6 Xilak was just to too, too, too crazy. Um, now Xilag is Xilag by itself on turn 7 or it's Kari on turn 7 so a little bit the same like with Mr. Smite and with Kariel. Everything just reduced uh, one turn later, delayed. In that case you also get one damage more, one attack more but to be honest that was not what was the card about so it's fine that she gets more attack and more health. Battle one Vanguard, just one one HP instead of two. Um, that's a good change, in my opinion, and I think that's where that these are all the changes that uh, these two are the changes to Demon Hunter that we see. I think it's a fine change. The card is still working how it should be. Um, he was always kind of easy to kill, but now it's even more easy to kill. For example, with a fillet fighter or something like this. So. Yeah, um, definitely, but I think it's a good change. Demon Hunter was a little bit too strong, 
these two cards are not changing the deck by itself, the playstyle or whatever, but uh, they make it a little bit more vulnerable, I would say. One second. Okay. Sorry. Wild Pornal, I guess we saw it coming. I don't like it because I play Rogue, but it's okay. 3 attack instead of 4, the card keeps the same. Now it can survive Shield Shatter, so all good. One more mana, also one more health. That delays uh, Naga Mage one turn. It's definitely a nerf. Uh, if it's a hard nerf or a small nerf, I don't know, but it's definitely a nerf. So let's see what we get here. Sorry again. All right, so now I'm back. From the left costs one more mana, definitely nice. I guess we all know how annoying it was that they always heard it on turn three. Um, now it's delayed one turn. It seems for me, that, yeah, Team 5 or Blizzard, however you want to call them at the end of the day, they wanted to delay everything a little bit. Um, but also, damage control warrior or that has a lot of control. So, yeah, the, 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 the meta will be definitely a little bit slower, I guess. So, let's see. Another nerf. A lot of decks have school teacher inside. Uh, it has now one attack less, two, two, no, one attack less, one HP left, less. Uh, definitely a nerf, much more easy to kill. Nelly, um, now every pirate costs one less, not one, just one less. So big nerf to Nelly, big nerf to Nelly. But it was such an overwhelming card that some games were just decided with from the depths, turn 4 Nelly, and that's it. I mean, turn 4 Nelly, it's a 5-5 five, five and a 2-6 with Taunt, and the next turn, 3 Pirates for 1 mana, and you know, Mr. Smile and all these things can be included, so very crazy. This is a, this is a, some of the, this is a nerf that I would have wished for. Yeah, just a little bit less armor, card stays the same, deal 5 damage, gain 5 armor. Still does the same, same playstyle, but just a little bit less armor because that was so overwhelming. What else? Okay, that's it. Earth and Scales instead of one mana, two mana. Um, yeah, to be honest, I don't understand that nerf. Um, I think that card was fine like it was. Um, Ran through it, got not a lot of play, so I don't know why they, why they nerfed it, but uh, I accept it. So overall, for me, a little bit too much nerfs on, nerfs on Control Warrior. Shield Shatter is a, is a Control Warrior nerf. Mr. Smite, when you get it out of Nelly, it costs one less, it's six mana then, so also a little bit of a little bit of a nerf for the control warrior when you think when you think like this from the depths a nerf school teacher they had school teacher inside definitely a nerf nelly a nerf title revenant a nerf so we talk about one two three four five real nerfs and with mr smite let me say a little apart nerf so yeah five nerfs definitely crazy Demon Hunter very well addressed, very well addressed this deck with two nerfs. Karia is for me not a... it is a nerf, don't get me wrong, it is a nerf because it delays Xilak one turn. Battle 1 Vanguard, 1 HP instead of 2. And is a nerf, but for me the deck is still good. Wild Pornal, 
I accept the nerf. I think it's okay, definitely. Together with the Mr. Smite deck, the deck is a little bit less strong, but still playable. We will look on the deck. Uh, Naga Mage, I think that's a big nerf, but I am never play Naga Mage by myself, but one turn delayed. Okay, she has one more, one more HP, so maybe survives a little bit better. But um, with 5 HP, she was already kind of hard to kill. Uh, maybe she got often killed by Shield Shatter. Now Shield Shatter could not kill her anymore, I don't know, so yeah. Perfect scales, you know. So let us quick have a look on the meta. That's the meta from the last 7 days. Legend should be a big range and yeah. Fell Demon Hunter got a nerf. I think it will stay strong. Not that strong anymore. Charge Warrior and Control Warrior, you know, is not exactly the same de deck list, but uh, kind of the same. So both got nerfs, hard nerfs. They definitely will fall down. Will they still be playable? Um, it's hard to say for me. Playable, yes. How good? I don't know. At the moment, I would say low tier 2, but it's just a prediction. Naga Priest. Is the best deck that did not get any nerf. What does it mean? It means we will see Naga Priest rising. I guess I guess it will be the top deck, to be honest. Naga Priest will be the top deck, in my opinion. Mech Paladin, little nerf with Karil nerf. Uh, Beast Hunter, untouched, will also rise a little bit. Uh, Naga Demon Hunter, I would have to see which cards are here inside. I guess the Vanguard is here inside, so got a little nerf. Mine Rogue, same with the Nulls, got touched. So, Earth and Scale got touched, Naga Mage got touched. Um, so yeah, we will see the overwhelming Control Warrior is gone. Uh, Control Warrior had good, very good matchups in some cases so yeah maybe this decks will rise but i also don't see here now a real winner because it was very good against fifrog fifrog got got uh, as well hit it by a nerf two nerfs to be honest with the smile and now um yeah maybe we see more Murloc Warlock, maybe we see more Murloc Shaman, more Burn Shaman, That's a, these are good questions, so yeah, my prediction, Naga Priest will be the top deck, Control and, control and Judge Warrior, let us say Warrior, because Quest Warrior is kind of non-existing in the high ranks, uh, Warrior will, will fall down, how much I cannot tell you, Fell Demon Hunter will be fine, I guess, top still top three deck in my opinion rogue will maybe fall a little bit but also benefits from the control warrior now it's hard for me to say i think it will stay around place three four five on the deck list um beast thunder will rise a little bit so better beast thunder better naga priest i hope charge and control warrior can go down like this here and yeah that's it guys uh, i think the changes are good a little bit too much in my opinion against warrior um i hope they like i said i i, I hate to play against control warrior but i hope the deck is still playable i think the answer is yes but we will see it uh maybe low tier two I, I i hope so to be honest so let us see how it develops all the other changes are for me very nice changes the earth and scale change is something that I don't understand, but I take it. And so let's, that's it. Have fun guys and see you. Bye-bye.